Why Marilyn Monroe didn't get anything for posing for Playboy cover. Marilyn Monroe launched the Playboy Empire. Playboy's debut issue featuring her sold 60,000 copies. Yet Marilyn didn't get any money. Here's how she was ripped off. In 1953, Marilyn Monroe was named Playboy's first playmate. But she wasn't jumping for joy. Hugh Hefner acquired her nudes without permission. She had posed nude in 1949 for a calendar. Marilyn was unemployed and desperate. She needed money to make a car payment. The shoot became known as the Red Velvet series. Marilyn signed the release as Mona Monroe. She wanted to protect her name. I was nervous, embarrassed, even ashamed of what I had done, and I did not want my name to appear on that model release. A year later, her acting career took off. Marilyn starred in All About Eve in the Asphalt Jungle. In 1953, she hit the jackpot with Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Marilyn became iconic. Hugh Hefner jumped at the opportunity. Marilyn got $50 for that fateful shoot. Hefner paid $500 to obtain the rights to her pictures. He chose one for the cover of the first ever Playboy issue. It featured a fully dressed Marilyn sitting on an elephant. Inside, Playboy promised one full color nude photo of her. Marilyn's nudes had never been featured in magazines. The debut issue flew off the shelves. It sold around 60,000 copies. One magazine was worth 50 cents. Yet Marilyn didn't get a single dime. She had to buy a copy of the magazine to see herself in it. Marilyn never even met Hefner. He claimed he once spoke to her on the phone. He adored her so much that he wanted to be buried next to her. In 1992, he paid $75,000 for the crypt beside hers. Hefner once made a joke about it. Jay Leno suggested that if I was going to spend that kind of money, I should actually be on top of her. Marilyn said no one thanked her for Playboy's success. In fact, it almost ruined her career. Her studio executives were worried. Some told her to deny the nude photos were real. But Marilyn wasn't going to lie. She confirmed that it was her. Ultimately, that issue brought her even more fame. She was often typecast as a dumb blonde bombshell. Many assumed it was her real personality. But Marilyn loved books. She built a library of 437 books. Most of them were peppered with her notes. She read every chance she got, even on set. She liked psychoanalysis and poetry. Marilyn's love of knowledge extended beyond books. She liked intelligent men. Her last husband was the playwright Arthur Miller. Their divorce was very hard on her. She poured emotions into a poem. Marilyn even had intellectual fantasies. Her roommate, Shelley Winters, shared a story. They made a list of men they wanted to sleep with. Marilyn's mostly featured men over 50, including Albert Einstein. Her roommate said, Marilyn, there's no way you can sleep with Albert Einstein. He's the most famous scientist of the century. Besides, he's an old man. Marilyn replied, I hear he's very healthy.